did you like me skipping? I have decided that skipping is one of the best exercises for right now. Uh, in particular, if you can get out in beautiful nature, uh, have a nice long trail um, around me where I can skip. And my body does not like running, so I've been struggling to get a little more aerobic exercise to benefit my lungs. And I've been doing lots of dancing, lots of stretching, um, but I needed more, uh, more oxygen in my body. And so I decided to try skipping again, which I hadn't done in a number of years. I used to practice a lot with my kids because it's a great crossbody exercise. Um, it wakes up both hemispheres of the brain. Um, but what I'm realizing is that not only is it great for our general oxygenation, but it is an awesome way uh, to draw in primal movement into your day. And primal movement is, um, in my, uh, in my practice, it's three movements. We have shaking, rocking, and bouncing. And with skipping, you get some of each, which is really great. So you get a three for one. Um, it's fun. It gets your heart rate up. You can do it in a small amount of space. You just need, you know, I mean, 20 feet is great, but if you only have 10 feet, you can do it in a small room if you need. Um, you just want to watch your knees, you know, slow down gently, turn gently, and go the other way. Um, so why do we want to do uh, primal movements? Why do we want to shake and rock and bounce? And why do we want to do cross crawl activities? Um, for primal movements, uh, shaking is an amazing nervous system reset. We see, there's lots of videos on YouTube of you know zebras and other animals shaking off after a chase. Um, to, so that they're not holding on to the trauma in their muscles um, and their tish, other tissues, which can translate into long-term stress. So we have the ability to do that as well. Um, and sometimes it's unconscious, we do it anyways, and sometimes we need to make a conscious decision to shake, um, especially for chronic trauma, because it may not be directly in our face. So a little bit of shaking a day is definitely a good idea. Uh, rocking is very soothing. It is a similar energy to when we were rocked in our mother's arms or our parents' arms. And um, so it's a self-soothing technique and it can be a little faster, um, which gets us more into sensual and sexual territory, or it can be slower like you would in a rocking chair. And so when you skip, you of course can control how fast or slow you go, but you are getting a bit of a forward and back rocking motion as well. Finally, bouncing. Um, and I should go back a step and say that each of these movements activate our organs, our internal organs, in a different way as well. Um, for shaking, it's more side to side motion, so you are activating the side walls of our organs. Um, for rocking, you're activating front and back and for bouncing, you're activating top and bottom. So if we think of each of our organs like a cave, um, and you know we have walls in the cave that need to be uh, woken up, basically, if they're not functioning well, or to be woken up regularly to maintain function, stimulated regularly, I should say, um, that each of these movements has a very special place in our self-care. Um, especially so for sensual health and for sexual health. Um, we don't typically get a lot of motion in our pelvis. Um, most people, most Westerners especially, have very limited motion in their pelvis unless you're doing a lot of yoga or belly dance, things like that. Um, we tend to get pretty stuck and this can lead to a lot of pain in our muscles but it can also lead to a lot of dysfunction in our reproductive organs. And also in our uh, intestines, leading to a lot of gas and bloating, menstrual issues, prostate issues as we age. And so getting in even just a few minutes of primal movement a day can really support the movement of fluids, circulation, um, make sure our nervous system is on point. And we can do it in a fun and playful way. So skipping is one of those ways. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes.